Hi, I'm David Blattner from InDesign Secrets, and I want to talk about a pretty obscure feature in InDesign, but one that lets you make some really cool effects with text. The feature is called Gravity, and it only applies to text on a path. So you can see that I have a path here. It looks kind of like a C. And I'm going to come over here to the tool panel, and I'll click and hold on the type tool. That way I get this little menu, and I can choose Type on a Path tool. Now I'll come over here to my path and click once down here at the bottom. You can see the cursor's flashing there, so I'll type some text. I'll just type, Go Seahawks. That's my favorite football team. You can see how the text follows the path. Of course, I could change the font or the size or whatever, just like a regular text frame, but this looks pretty good for right now. But I do want to move the text, so I'll switch to the Selection tool, and then I'm going to drag this little vertical line to the side of this text. I'll simply drag this along the path until it goes up to the top. That's how you can adjust where the text sits on a path. Okay, so now check this out. I'm going to head up to the Type menu, and I'm going to choose Type on a Path, and then choose Options. Up comes the Type on a Path Options dialog box, and here inside the Effect pop-up menu, you can see that I have a lot of different options for how the text is going to sit on that path. Right now it's set to Rainbow, but I'm going to choose a different one. I'll choose Gravity. Now because the Preview checkbox is turned on, you can see the effect take place immediately. And that is really different, right? I'll go ahead and click OK. Gravity tells InDesign to skew or shear each letter so that it points to the center of the path. Like down here, you see this little dot? That's the center of the object. And you can imagine an invisible line extending from that point up through each letter. So this is not a true perspective effect, but it kind of feels like perspective, right? And what's cool about this is that you can get a different effect if you change where the center point is. Like, I'm going to come up here and choose the Direct Selection tool. I'll click out here to deselect the path, and now I'm going to drag the segment at the bottom of the path, this line between these two points. When I dragged up, it changed where the center point of the object was, so the gravity effect gets more extreme. Or I'll drag it up even higher, above the text, and now you get a very different kind of effect. Once again, each letter is being skewed toward the center point. Now, if I had to do a real perspective effect, or I needed to warp the text in other interesting ways, I'd probably switch over to Adobe Illustrator. But I just love the fact that I can make these kinds of effects really easily in InDesign if I need to. Well, that's it for this episode of InDesign Secrets. Be sure to check out InDesignSecrets.com for thousands of InDesign articles and tutorials, and sign up to receive our free weekly InDesign Tip of the Week. Thanks for learning with us.